sad. I've had to start watching soccer. <laughs> Anybody watch soccer? If you haven't, let me explain it. <laughs> this is what happens. You run and you kick it. <laughs> That's it. Run. Kick it. At halftime, you will get oranges. <laughs> so run as fast as you can, you little bugger. Run and kick it. And we'll get you some oranges and pep you up and go out in the second half and do it again. <laughs> Everyone looks like they're having fun in soccer, except for one poor player, the goalie. It's called the keeper in soccer. The goalie's job is to keep the ball out of a net that is massive. <laughs> Have you ever seen a soccer net? It's ridiculous. It's like Paris Hilton's vagina. <laughs> Sir, anyone who wants to can score on this thing, right? <laughs> There's no way to keep balls from going in there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and the goalie knows, the goalie knows he can't stop it. So you watch a soccer game closely. Next time you see one on TV, soccer is the only sport in the world where the goalie is wearing a completely different uniform than the rest of his team. <laughs> Everyone else has matching shirts. The goalie can wear whatever he wants. Pajama pants and a lumberjack shirt. The goalie is so bored, he's actually wearing gardening gloves. <laughs> That's how bored the goalie is. If you guys aren't going to come down here, I'm just going to plant stuff. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I've got all this grass to work with. It'd be rude not to. <laughs> the score of every soccer game should be 15 to 14. It's not. Sometimes they don't score at all. They play for an hour and a half, but they can't score once. But the British announcers are still riveted. I don't know what they're watching, but they're excited. <laughs> Here we are in the 87th minute. It's still nil-nil. <laughs> Remember back in the fourth minute, Nigel? <laughs> when that one player tripped, who <laughs> that was something. <laughs> but that was an hour and a half ago, and it's still nil-nil. <laughs> Let's get back down to the action. So they go back down, and of course, no one scores, right? 90 minutes is up. Then they play extra time in soccer. They call it injury time. You know how you get injured in soccer? You fall down. <laughs> That's it. No one had to make you fall. Maybe the grass was cut unevenly. <laughs> Some players are like, oh, That's an injury. They will play extra time for that in soccer. So then they go to penalty kicks. It's supposed to be soccer's answer to a hockey penalty shot. It's not. They put the ball right there. Right where you are, sir. It's about 12 feet away. See if you can't score. I dare you not to score on Paris Hilton's vagina. It just sounds fun to say that. Paris Hilton's vagina! That guy could score on that. The slow kid on the team. See if you can't score from there, right? But soccer fans are crazy. Hockey fans are good fans. Soccer fans are crazy. They think their goalie can stop it. Here's what's going on in the soccer fan's head. Our goalie. I don't know what accent this is exactly. I'm going with it. This is the sound of soccer fans. Our goalie. He's going to save the day. <laughs> yeah, he's going to guess which way the angry Italian man's going to kick it. <laughs> he's going to dive that way. He's going to block the shot. We're going to win the game. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And then they fall down drunk and the stands catch on fire. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> You want to know what the goalie's thinking? Here it is. Ready? <sighs> Shit! <laughs> this, our 
asshole's gonna rifle it at me from 12 feet away. He's taking a run at it, for God's sakes. Standing here like an idiot in pajama pants and a lumberjack shirt. They don't even give the goalie oranges. Why would they? He doesn't do anything. So he's got no energy, his legs are asleep. And then he gets mad, he's like, you're running right through my petunias! Does that mean-